Hi guys. <laughs> new me. No more. What is up, guys? This is new me. Hi Mom's guys. got new hair. You know, you know the boy's looking clean. Man is a man now. Nah, not yet. Once I have babies, then once I'm he, kidding. No, once he goes to the mountain. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. I was a man at like 10, then. Yo. Sure. Uh, Cut that. But nah, hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're good. What's happening? Uh, Y'all know what me. Is Izzy, the boy Izzy. Joined with? Total fries. What a surprise. You know the vibe. Okay, okay. Now, nah, let me top yeah. it up. Izzy, the boy with the... <laughs> Okay, nah, 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 you see nah, nah. dropping the noise. Nah, but um, just wanted to address, we haven't been, well, I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Yeah, and I told him, bring back the channel, because, yeah. because, what are you doing, dude? What am I doing? What are you life? doing, your fans? I'm you, not dropping your music. Ah, okay, <laughs> Literally, okay. That's so me. much shade, a minute into this. Nah, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, we're bringing back the channel, but um, bring yeah. it back with Kenzie. Yes, um, sir. As a different platform, completely different. Um, it's a whole new thing uh, tailored towards creatives and the platform, the name, everything's going to be changed. So yes, don't be sir. surprised. It's going to be called Creatives Connect now. And uh, yeah, Kenzie, tell us what we'll be doing on Creatives Connect. Yeah, we'll be speaking about music, um, things we like, things we don't like, and just diving into the mind, our minds yeah. and the minds of other artists. So yeah, yeah guys, just keep in tune. What do you say? Stay tuned. So philosophical. So philosophical. So that jazz, English. Man. But yeah, stay tuned, <laughs> subscribe, do the things, do what you yeah, gotta do. we're back. But oh, I right, yeah, let's get back. straight into it. First and foremost, how have you been? What I've has been, been alive, going on? Man. Um, been alive, been living... Hey dog, we've just been alive. There's nothing I can <laughs> say. It's just living, yo. It's yeah, no, it's just living. That's right. We came here to shoot content. And then you Damn. come on camera and then you're just alive. But it's fine. Now I'm alive. What what have you been? How have you been? Now nah, living. Exactly. <laughs> exactly my point. You're just living, dog. There's no highlights in life, dog. It's just... Nah, literally no. Um pushing music still. Yeah. Um pushing the Pop up events. Oh, actually, so the boy much. does pop up events. We yeah. should actually vlog one of. Um, we should. Yeah, that would yeah, be dope. Yeah. The next one is coming dope. this February. Uh, we're still confirming the date. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's coming through. But yeah, just pushing creative stuff. As yeah. much creative stuff as possible. I think that's like. Yeah, that's my thing this year. Just doing as much yeah. as you can. Yeah, I was going to say, you see, you asked me, I have, I, whatever. I've been yeah. doing nothing. But um, this year is the year where I want to push like all my channels of creativity so whether mm. that be photography videography it's just that i'm still on you know still a bit slow getting into yeah, it yeah but yeah. now nah, i definitely want to like just exhaust everything to do with creativity because hey dog academics we've been there hey mm. how are you just... finding like the balance of trying to be creative and your course because i don't think your course is <sighs> like allows you that space yeah. and freedom yeah I think that that's one of the like reality checks I got in first year. Like that, uh, my parents saw me dreams, dog. They're like, you go there, <laughs> you'll do both. You'll do both at the same time, degree, <laughs> and you can pursue what's what. I thought. And then course was but like, the course was like, I'm like, these motherfuckers said go there, <laughs> you'll do both. I'm doing one, dog, and the one they want. So yeah, I no, thought, no, no. I was like, what a reality shock. But, but yeah, wait for context. Um, for those who don't know, what are you studying right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Konji. Hey, black people. I'm studying engineering at, at WITS. Um, yeah, so it's just time-consuming, dog. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I don't have the time to be creative. But I also don't think it's a thing of you don't... I, I guess during the week, it's not as much free time. But during weekends, I could make it work if I honestly wanted to. It's just that dedication. But, just that njolo. But yeah. next question... I wouldn't speak <laughs> if I were a boy, but it's cool. I mean, I also wouldn't speak. Ah, it's cool. Let's move. I, I Let's mean, move. I mean, I mean, I Let's mean. move. Yo, so the first question that we wanted to, or the first topic we wanted to tackle on this channel is yeah. basically in the name. And what would you say is creativity to you? Now I'm going to ask you first, actually. I want to steal your answer. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, But creativity to me is, it's, it's not limited to, you know, a paintbrush or 
a canvas or you know music or things that people deem as creative yeah. it can literally be anything like the way you know you operate at work the way you make food you know it's literally anything that you do that you enjoy in which you can express yourself that was a long sentence yeah but yeah <laughs> just to add on to that now um funny enough creatives like to create this clicky circle of Nah, it's only artists, painters, performers, this, yeah. and those are creatives. But how I look at it is, dog, creatives is, is anyone, dog. Like, even if we just go into engineering, you need a certain, like, level of creativity to mm. do what you got to do. Mm. Um, And the same way I make a uh, bra like a sandwich is different to you. So even yeah. that is just creativity in its own, bro. So for me, it's like a way of living, just yeah trying to yeah. to to find i think it's it's all about being I- inquisitive and finding ways to do things whether it's in a simplistic way or whatever but just finding your rhythm mm. and that for you that makes you feel like you're expressing your creativity exactly. otherwise doing the same thing doing what everyone else is doing i guess yeah. it is also creativity but it's just it's just not it <laughs> Just, what do you mean it's not it like in the sense that for an example let's say if you have a, a nine to five well i don't know yeah nine mm. to five job and it's a yeah. thing of you know that you're not happy there but you're doing it because it's like everyone else is doing it and this is the safety net you my chat so it's that's like, a whole episode for yeah, another, that's a whole hey, another chat yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah what i'm dude, just saying a, is that even if you're doing your nine to five, you can find a way for you to still be able to uh, express, express your nerve. creativity. Yeah. I, 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 not just I, I, like your box. No. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. Now that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, yeah. I think we dropped yeah. some wisdom. Let, let us know what you guys think creativity yeah, is you, like. Yeah. You drop it down yeah. there. Cause and my next question is, um, is, 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 is he? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is art? Like, what is art to you? Yo. Like, what do you define as art, you know? Yeah, I know. Um, in terms of art, I don't know how to... I, I, I have that thing, the answer in my head, ne? but mm. I can't I can't vocalize it. But um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you have a canvas, right? Yeah. And then you draw a painting. Yeah. And then someone sees you draw it. A painting. Oh, there, there we go. What? Israel draws a painting. What? You drew a painting. Oh, hey, mice. Who's calling you? Ish. Eh? Hey, you see? Babes, I'm jealous, eh? I'm jealous. Yeah. Prohibiting yeah. the crime, yeah, eh? No, but... Look at the boy. He's flashing. Ah, <laughs> uh, but now <laughs> I was saying, I get you draw the painting. Okay, you paint a painting. Hey, <laughs> semantics. <laughs> but you paint a painting, right? On a canvas. Mm. And for you, you were painting a message, mm. right? And then someone else is going to view it and either receive the same message or have a different interpretation. Okay. But I think art is people experiencing your, you, ex, uh, you express yourself or experiencing you. Oh, uh, so art is, you, art is almost like the experience of someone else's expression. Yeah. You see, down. this guy puts the words there yeah, for me, dog. Chain that, exactly that. Chain it, because yeah. if I think about it, if you have like an artwork or thingy, someone has to experience it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be considered art. Because mm. if you're just doing it and it's just like, okay, yeah. then what is it? Yeah, yeah, you're much, yeah. Okay. So that's that's what it is. But okay, no. wrong, wrong, okay wrong. no, that no, that's a dope Damn, answer. Philosophical shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but yeah, let's go. What no, do you what do you feel like art? No, is? that is a brilliant answer. I think. I always think of art as, like, you know, I always think of, like, the Lord's Prayer, right? And the Which first, one? The Lord's, our Father. The, our Father who oh, art yeah, in heaven. Yeah, yeah. That, mm. Like, that phrase alone. Guys, I know the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, which one? <laughs> what are you praying? Shanta <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, but, yeah. So, that first line, you know, um, who art in heaven. Yeah. Like, I always think of that phrase, and it's like, we were all created, and this is gonna sound like super philosophical. It's philosophical, but yeah. we were all made in God's image, yeah. right? Yeah. And God is like, you know, the first artist ever. Uh, so it's like everything we do here, and everything we came here to do, and like you know, our purpose and why we are here is to sort of yeah. make art. And so we're like a an artwork in an artwork. 
That's what I see. Bro, it. why does it feel like we're high, guys? <laughs> we're, we're not doing drugs. That's, that's Trust exactly me. what I feel it like. Yeah, Yo, that's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, because, yeah. Bro. <laughs> bro, I feel like I'm high on something right and now. We haven't even had breakfast yet. Imagine, yo, we're high on hunger, yo. Nah, bro. But um, sort of like the next question I want to ask you is like, who do you look up to artistically, or just you know in general? Like, who is who? Who helps you drive? Who mm. helps you fuel your drive? Artistically, there are quite a few. I, I think they differ in terms of like um like spheres so i have different people i look up to for different things so um in terms of like photography would mm. be you know a certain person as well in terms of but i think essentially the people i look up to are for me i i don't mm, there are people that are good at what they do right um mm. for an example if we look at rap right you have all these rappers a reese nasty c all of that yeah, there are yeah. people that are good at what they do and it pops and all of that but for me I, that wouldn't be someone i look up to I'm, I'm more at people who break boundaries bro like trendsetters innovators people who break the industry i don't want to you know i just feel like i resonate more with those type of things because uh, i also want to get in there and be like what what change did i bring or so what more of like the so you look up to more of like the pioneers yeah right? the pioneers exactly and who are those pioneers would you say like yo like name one pioneer right like, now in sa one person i look up to is casper bro yo in mm. terms of business like okay, it's yeah. so weird finding a person who's an artist but have such a great business mind bro like mm, yo mm. yeah that's just yeah that's just nah, he it. nah he finessed yo he truly finessed the game, like fully fully i remember going to fill up was it orlando i never went oh dude like going to a fill up and experiencing like what yeah i yo. remember on the stage like when the fire came out you know bro you know when the fire comes out on yo i was like this is crazy so i can't relate but um I get you. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that just in Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. would have thought of from Philip, let's move it on now to clothing. Let's move it on to boxing. Mm. Bro, it's like, he's... And it's not like these things weren't there. That's that's what, like, messes with my head. It's like, not, it's not like boxing wasn't there. It just needed someone to revive it. But, like, how? Because you can't just revive it. You need some sort yeah, of... Some sort yeah, of to bring that motivation. thing into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, so yeah, that, that's dude. that's yeah, one person I think right now is Casper Dog. I want okay, that yeah. money. Why not? Oh, if we had to keep it in SA, Ricky Rick. Ah, Ricky's also Ricky another Rick one, is actually. Like yeah. the coolest guy, I think. Like the day I get to meet Rick, like what? Yeah, Ricky like, Rick, actually, now that I think of it, yeah, yeah. I, I want to change my answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, Ricky Rick, like, I think because like he just came in. And he did the raps. Like, I first, I was introduced to him as a yeah, rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he became, like, kind of, like, you know, this fashion influencer yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. I'm getting, like, an ASAP Rocky vibe. Yeah, and then from... he started mingling with kids. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, like, not like that. In the <laughs> Let's edit that out. <laughs> Do you want to catch a case first episode? Wait, wait let me explain. Let me explain. My wording was wrong, <laughs> totally wrong. But what I mean is that um, he started like he's not just a uh, uh, like those artists who are just uh, ah, I did my shit and then no. I'm done. No, no, he no. Started yeah, also yeah, impacting yeah, like exactly. The kids so he and started doing it for the kids, yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that was really dope. On top of that, he yeah. was like, bah, because who's 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 mm. he? I'm um, like put on. I, I know like um, Uncle Vinny on, hangs out with him. He put on. I think one of the first guys that I like, one of my favorite rappers, also he put on um, Frank Casino. Oh, the whole thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when whole thing came yeah. out, I was like, this is the coolest song yeah. ever, dude. Yeah, yeah. But that's one thing. He's like a father figure to all these like young people. Oh, like, dude, he's so. And great. he's just what I like about him is he's not um, confined to like a certain that, way of thinking. That's what I'm he's saying. He's like, yeah. ah, bro, Ken's, you've got an idea. I, let's do it mm, and then mm. do it however you want to do it i'm just there to and support. back to the yeah. business idea thing he also um I, I might be wrong correct me in the comments but he also um co-founded was it legends legends, legends? Barbers, the barbers. oh yeah you yeah. see what i mean i don't That's yeah and he saying, was part bro. of it i don't know if yeah, he yeah, yeah but, but like, yeah he was part of it yeah, yeah i think he's a co-founder and like dude 
Have Yo, you, if you've lot. ever been to a Legends, that's that's why I got the cut. You see, it's fading now, but this is the boys. They put me on. So go get go get a cut at Legends. Brand deal, Legends. Yeah, hey, they must hook us up with cuts every week, hey. Please, James. Just, yeah, just, this is gonna. Because the boys need to look clean. Come on, come on. But away, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I guess so who, that's who like, we look up yeah. to. What are we moving on to? We have to move on to the segment where we ask the people a question. Oh, um, she's and we ask the people a question. Uh, how do you find your purpose as an artist, or how yeah. did you find your purpose? So we posed, yeah. So we yeah, posed this question on our yeah. Instagrams. I don't think we'll read mine's because my phone's thingy, but we can just read okay, yours look for mine. and just talk on those. Yeah, but the yeah. question is for the week: as an artist, how do you find your purpose? Hey, um, people were doing the most on the gram. I won't lie. Someone said there isn't such a thing as purpose. Elaborate for two months. I just want to understand. And then someone said, um, I found my purpose as an artist by being trash at everything else. <laughs> Wait, are these people being serious or they're trolling? Like, what's going like on? I also don't know, bro. Ooh. And then someone said, um, at 10, I realized that I never wanted to work <laughs> in an office or do the same thing daily. Uh, I'm not laughing. Nah. I'm not laughing. I'm just like, I don't know if people are being funny. <laughs> Maybe it's our fault. Maybe we asked the question wrong. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> but like, eh, okay. I just wanna, I just wanna debrief something. Né? In terms of like purpose, I think mm. when we had the conversation, right? Yeah. Of um, how do you find your purpose as an artist? It was along the lines of, um, either as an artist, you have like your purpose is to be. Um, you're sending a message. So you have like protest artists who protest through their music, um, mm. trying to bring about change. That could be their purpose. Um, then you just have some people who just give like a cathartic experience. You're just there for like the vibes and all of that. Then you have people like Black Coffee who are there to bring, you know, essay music um, and expose it to, you know. The world, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. world. And then you have people who are pioneers in like the industry or in whatever platform they're involved in and yeah that type of thing so that's what i think maybe we should have <laughs> should have disclaimed it yeah. should have that's a or bit maybe fair. my followers are yeah maybe but also then, the people are following uh yeah someone said uh, funny enough i think this is like the actual like this is an answer yeah funny enough um through depression started making music oh so that's, like, that's yeah. something i want to address actually mm. I, I felt like as an as a most artist, let me not say most, but as an artist, um, you find your purpose and the thing that you really want to do most when you're at your lowest, because that's your escape. Mm. So when you're at your lowest, you'll be making music sharp and that's your escape. When you're at your lowest, you'll be painting. That's your escape. When you're at your lowest, you'll be taking photos, editing, doing whatever. But you won't find it when... Okay, I mean, I'm not going to say you won't find it. But I do think that, like, your environment and where you are at life plays a role into you, like, yeah, finding your purpose. Yeah, I think that's, your, that's a whole chat for yeah, another episode. Yeah. But, yeah I, yeah, I agree with that. Like, I think I can relate to this music one because, you know, when things are going, eh. Yeah, it's just like, I gotta... I just have to zone out. cope yeah, some way, yeah, you know? So, yeah, yeah definitely that. Um, yeah, here's an interesting one. Through Heartbreak. I found my purpose. Wow. <laughs> me, sir. Jolo made you find your purpose. Heartbreak. Wow. Wow. So, Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I think it differs from person to person, eh? Like, finding your purpose. Some people go and chase it. You know, chase after it. Like, For sure. what is my purpose? Some people figure it out. Some people don't. I think it's a thing of, you have to start out, because it's a very difficult question to answer. Yeah. So you have to start out and say, what do I enjoy doing the most? Um, what can I do that brings value to the yeah. world? And what can I sort of balance that out with that brings me money? You know? So it's like I want to ask a balance, question actually. It's like balancing all the things. Do you think um, a person realizes their purpose while they're still alive? Or it's only the people, the next generation that sees the outcome of what they've done and was like, oh, this is a person's purpose. Because yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. when you're doing something, it might not necessarily be your purpose and you feel like, ah, oh, I haven't found my purpose type of thing. But once you're gone, it's like, that's mm. what that person was working for. And this is you know, mm. what they did. That's a deep question, bro. 
That's yeah. a deep question. Because sometimes people just do it as an escape. It's like I'm, I'm. This is not my purpose. I get you. Like yeah. some people are just vibing. Yeah. And it's like, bro, and then this person's like, purpose was to like exactly. enlighten the youth. And it's like, nah, I was exactly. making music. I was just making music. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Nah, I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. <laughs> nah, crazy times, man. Yeah, yeah. But I think. Yeah. Yeah, we've been through all our topics, almost. Yeah. We have one more segment. What's left? Copper drop. Oh, copper drop. That's that's Ooh. my segment. So, guys, um, uh, maybe you guys can join us in the next episode. Uh, you could drop things that uh, drop in the comments down below. Um, things that we can compare. So, basically, copper drop is just a game that we play at the end of you know, our episodes. Um, and you have to just decide whether you're copying. What are you copying? What are you dropping? The things can be, like, randomly Compared, you can compare literally two different things, mm. but you have to have some sort of link, I guess. Well, right, let's open mm, that up. Yeah, just just find that for Your me. Your couple drops. A couple drop. Does it start here? Nah, 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 nah. It's the next one. Dope. Yeah. So couple drop, right? So um, cool. Couple drop. You know the the in terms of brands, right? Mm. Which item, or yeah, which brand item would you want to own between? Um, and these are South African brands. So the is it Galaxy Boy? How do you pronounce it? Or Glux Boy? You know the shades, the shades that everyone's going on about, and the hoodie that Major League Way has. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, do you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce it. Also. I also don't. <laughs> but I know Guys, what you're talking about. And I've about. never heard anyone. But they always just post about it on these. They stations. post it and they wear it. Yeah, no, no, no one pronounces exactly, so it. No one pronounces. It's like I want that thing. Exactly. So please nah. tell me how you pronounce it. And then or oh, versus a Richie, a uh, Rich Munisi item. Like, oh, I have to pick between those. Yeah, between the two. Which one you copying? Which one you dropping? Yeah, you can't make me pick, bro. I'm all so fire. <laughs> which one you copying? Which one you dropping? I have to cop that rich, bro. Rich. I, I was just gonna say rich, bro. Nah, like that guy. Uh, nah, that guy I, is so cool. I was just cool. gonna say That's rich. That's also another bro. guy like I want to meet, bro, and be like, Dude, how do you do this? <laughs> do you do this? Yo, nah, that's also copy. Nah, that's nah, also copy rich. rich. Mm. I'm sorry, because it's like so exclusive, bro. Because like, I can't pronounce black boy, so I can't even be like, <laughs> I want that, you know, black whatever it is. Hey, Galaxy. I'll just say Galaxy Boy. I think it's Galaxy. It's just shortened. Ish, bro, we must. I think next episode we must. Just yeah, try, we must just try read that. Uh, okay, cool. For music events, cup or drop, right? Mm. Um, what are you having? Um, are you having a deep house or an ama piano lineup? Call which one you copying? Which one you dropping? I feel like you did this on purpose. Nah, you know you... nah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm copying that deep house, bro. You're copying that deep house? Dude, you don't understand. For an event, bro. you copy that deep house. Yeah, oh, bruh. I think because I've been to, like, I'm a piano, like, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's predominantly played, yeah, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. nowadays. And I'm like, nah, it's dope. But, like, these DJs are, like, playing the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, Where's yeah, deep yeah. house, you know? Yeah, okay, I feel you. It I sits, you. bro. It sits in your chest, man. I'm not going to lie. I'd cop an I'm a piano. Of oh, course. Man. So, Israel is a <laughs> group of gents. Nah. Israel is nah, a professional groovers. No, we're not there. It's just, I'm a piano has that thing, and I like yeah. how it's evolving right now. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure. No, so, no, nothing yeah. against, like, I love... My piano, but yeah. I'm saying oh, deep house, man. That's yeah, where it started really. for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, cool, cool, cool. Um, as a host, you're hosting a show, right? Okay. You're hosting a show, and you want the show to pop, like you want the best host on it, right? Mm. Oh, so you have a show, but you're looking for a host. Mm. Who are you having host your show? Copper drop, jupe jupe, or Somizi? Hectic. <laughs> <laughs> Somizi. Personality, bro. Personality. Somizi. Somizi is my guy. So easy. I think people can relate but, to him more. You know, I, I was gonna say I'd cop Jupe Jupe. Why? Let me tell you why. The boy will bring drama to your show <laughs> and you'll get the views, it will pop. Like, and nah, the thing is, bro, one thing I like about him is Shop, I get Sumizi, but Sumizi is a performer, so he knows how to bring that thing, but within boundaries. Jupe Jupe, bro, he ain't got a boundaries. Jupe. Your boy Jup Jup is just pure himself. Is, your boy won't stick to the program. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, this that's the problem. Yeah. He knows you pay him his bag, he'll stick to the program. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Alright, okay. So Jup easy. Jup Jup. Jup. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Right. So easy, man. Okay, cool. Um, if you if you had to trust your money with someone, right? And, not you. Or if no, <laughs> definitely not me. 
<laughs> if you had to I'm between serious. these two people, if you had to trust them to make you money, like you can okay, okay, yeah, okay. Between Wonang and Casper, who are you copying or dropping <sighs> to make you the bag? Nah, Casper. Casper, ne? It's a tough one, but Casper. Yeah, I also Casper because he'll bring it. I feel like Casper. He'll be like, nah. We'll make this money, but we'll also have fun while making yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I'm also definitely going with Casper. Nothing, nothing for Queen B. Um, nothing is, against her. Nah, nah, nah. Like we love, so love yeah. yeah. Hey guys, forgive me. How I'm gonna pronounce this one? I'm not Tosa, and it requires that thing. I'm not Koza. I'm not Koza, Let's but it requires it. that thing. Starring actress, you're hosting a TV show or series or whatever, and uh, you need a couple drop a starring actress. Actress, yo, between Ama Kamata and Natasha Tahani. Oh man! So literally, Natasha the, Tahani. Natasha, Natasha, Natasha. I should have made this about blood and water. Make it personal, yo. You should have made it personal. <laughs> Natasha, you 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 pick Ama. Yeah. Let me tell you why I'd pick I'd cop Ama. Let me tell you why. Natasha, bro. I don't know. Maybe because I'm low key crushing, but Natasha. <sighs> Nigga throwing a shot. Tag me cuffed. <laughs> Bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but I'm going with Ama. Reason being, yeah. she's young. Mm. Um, I feel like she's got so much potential, bro. Like, mm. how she carried. I know, like, Blood and Water is one of her like, biggest works, you know, but how she carried that show, bro. I yeah. know, uh, no, no. For no, a no, young no, person, no, no. like, you know. But nah, like, nah, nah. But she, I, not, not that, I hear she, what you're saying. but she was like, she, she made Natasha Chase like work, yeah. work. Um, yeah. So nah, like, what did I you think, think of I'm Blood and Water, by the way? I think, did you watch the second season? Yeah, I watched everything. I think it was dope. I think in terms of like um, South African production, like it's dope because it shows that we have the potential to like, to make it big. Yeah, to yeah. make it big. But I also think it was something different, something nice, you know, all these shows just want to portray normal i guess adult life bro and it's always like you know lokshin bioscope vibes mm. or just like hollywood things or whatever but it's something that we as young stars could relate to high school environment mm. something tailored for us we didn't have a lot of yeah we don't have a lot of exactly yeah, yeah something that was just tailored for us it was like we're yeah. just gonna have fun here and yeah i loved it yeah no vibes vibes yeah, yeah no yeah. no i like blood and water dude it yeah. was you like natasha correction not bloody, you like Natasha. But I cool. It's in the episode. <laughs> All right, now. Nah. Yeah, hey, we're almost <laughs> out. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed, please yes, just sir. subscribe, do the things. I will trying to build the platform. Yeah. If you have, yeah, anything to say, say it in the comments and we'll read them, give feedback. And yeah, I think we out. That's episode one. Episode one done. That's <laughs> it.